Hello everyone and uh, welcome to Scania and the Scania family and it's it's a big family today uh, I'm happy to see that it's now two years since uh, we were standing on this stage um, launching the new truck generation I was proud as a king I remember that spending all that money two and a half billion euro for a new program but what an incredible two years it's been I mean, it's been an amazing journey. So please join me and have a look at this. Thank you for that. Thank you very much. Um, two years it's been, and now, Scania, we have the strongest and broadest product range ever. You in the media that are joining us today, you have been impressed with what we have launched now the two last years. Impressed with the fuel consumption, with the drivability, and also with the comfort, and of course with the quality of the whole vehicle really positive reviews from you in the press and from our customers you know we set quite high expectations when we went out with a message about the fuel consumption savings at least five percent so did we fulfill our customers high expectations yes we did we actually exceeded them as well and we will continue to exceed our customers expectations going forward Please take a look around. Look around at this stand. What do you see? Yeah, this is the full range of the new truck generation. Complemented compared to when we were here two years ago with a new XT range that you can see over here, built for the rough conditions, strengthening Scania's position in the construction segment. You also have the new urban range with a low entry that you see here in two configurations, strengthening Scania's position in the more and more important urban segment, considering the urbanization in the world. You know, the thing that I'm most proud of, though, is that all these vehicles that you see in the stand, they run on renewable non-fossil fuel. At Scania, we have taken a stance. We have taken a position that we will drive the shift towards sustainable transport solutions. That is our purpose. That is what we're going to do. And we have conducted a study that I have here that I would like you all to take with you and look at. And that is a study that is showing a white paper that by 2050, it will be possible for us to have a fossil free transport system in the world is actually possible maybe already at 2030 and that is what we want to do in that study it's clear that we need to work with biofuels that you see here today not only on the trucks but also on those beautiful buses that you see over there biofuels to start with and then eventually electrification will come into play and that will be the basis for a fossil free transport system but I would like to um, now invite uh, Christian Levine to come and join me. Christian, who is the head of sales and marketing at Scania, to tell us a little bit more about some of these particular vehicles and the journey ahead. So, Super. Christian. Thank you, Henrik. Good morning also from my side, everyone. So, electrification technology and the needed infrastructure is gaining momentum throughout the world. 
But short and also medium term, we will have to rely on the combustion engine with biofuels uh, burnt in it for heavy commercial transport. Meanwhile, hybrid vehicles, battery electric, especially on city buses, are approaching cost parity. There are drawbacks of the full electric trucks. There are clear drawbacks. First, being uh, operational, read disruptions because of charging time, but also the availability, of course, of charging infrastructure, but also commercially, read cost or price of the equipment. These hugely expensive trucks often does not have the range, nor for short haul operation or long haul operation. The lack of infrastructure is also hindering an efficient deployment of the logistics. Residual values are of great concern to our customers. They wonder, what about the lifespan of the batteries? And do I risk to be stuck with a heavily depreciated vehicle once the battery reach their prime? So, what to do? Good news. We have combined the best of two worlds. Hybrid vehicles with biodiesel and HVO power driveline. So over there, you will see our world's first plug-in hybrid vehicle and L-series truck. It's keeping Scania's philosophy. It's fully modularized, meaning you can get it in any configuration. It's available here and now. We're opening the order books, not tomorrow, not in five years, but today. You'd say maybe it's expensive, yeah. Of course, it's more expensive. You can say it's containing two parallel drive lines compared to uh, its pure diesel sibling. But let me briefly explain to you why we still think and claim that this is a short term smart, street smart money making machine for our customers. Firstly, you can run it up to 10 kilometers on pure electric mode, the first charge. At your first stop, delivery or the driver's brake, you can fill it up again in less than half an hour. And you have another 10 kilometers on full electric. That is more than sufficient for short haul operations in inner city transport. Meanwhile, we save fuel. We reduce CO2 emissions. We have long experience by now from hybrid buses in inner city transport. And what our customers tell us is that fuel savings start from 20%. Now add to that the plug-in capability, and it would be fair to assume you can save another five or 10. So with a 30% fuel saving, the initial extra price will in quite a few years be totally paid back. So ladies and gentlemen, what we pr propose today is a very appealing offer for any city distribution customer. So what about that residual value worry I was telling you about? Well, when batteries approach the end of life, and there are, of course, batteries also in a plug-in hybrid, even if the price of batteries has hopefully come down a lot, there is still the possibility to continue to run a fantastic Scania L-series combustion engine on biofuels or HVO. So in essence, we propose a win-win-win solution for our customers, for their customers, and for society at large. The PHEB, or the plug-in hybrid, is our latest addition to our sustainable urban range. Another great news, less tangible because it is a service, equally important though, because it ties right into our plug-in hybrid, is the Scania Zone. Thanks to the fact that we have the world's biggest captive connected vehicle fleet, 340,000 vehicles as today and counting, we can develop useful connectivity service for the entire population. And Scania Zone is one of these. It's a smart application to manage restrictions, restrictions in inner city traffic. You know, there are speed restrictions coming up, there are noise restrictions coming up, there are emission uh, restrictions coming up. And we think for the driver to handle inner city traffic is difficult enough without also having to take care of all these restrictions and risk of fines. 
So leave the job to us, leave the job to Scania Zone for peace of mind for drivers and operators. Now, whilst on the subject of sustainable urban transport, another great piece of news from us here today at Yao. Just outside, you can see the first L-series track with a sliding city door, or a bus door, as I think most people will call it. It's a bus door on the passenger side. It improves greatly visibility and safety in inner city traffic. Plus, it vastly improves the operating conditions, especially in historic European cities with very narrow streets. I think this will be a smash hit in distribution and refuse collection applications throughout our markets. So finally, another world premiere, the LNG fueled interlink coach that you can see over there. Liquefied natural gas infrastructure is gaining momentum, is being built up in many European and countries throughout the world. So I think our launch of the world's first LNG powered coach is perfectly timed. There has been several alternatives for city bus operators, but for longer distance bus transports, the choice has been limited. What we launched today with two gas tanks, total 912 liters, is a range of more than a thousand kilometers for this coach. And I'm happy to say that operators are already responding very positively and our order books are open and they are filling up. So by the way, check out all the other great news, new trucks, new buses and new services that we present here today at the EAO. And as Henrik said, I can proudly say that all of them are fueled with alternatives to diesel. And don't miss out the opportunity to ride here out on the exhibition ground, our shuttle bus, our full electric battery bus, our Scania citywide. So Henrik, what do you say? What does this all add up to? Yeah, this all adds up to that uh, Scania is taking a firm stance to drive the sustainability of the transport system forward. We will drive the shift. I think you see today with the exhibition that we have that we use biofuels and we use electrification uh, already here and now. And that's the only way to sort of drive the shift. And we're starting to see now diesel as the alternative. We will continue, of course, on the next coming Hannover show to present more products and services that will sort of drive this shift forward. We will continue with that. That is our purpose, to help our customers to transform the industry. Finally, we would also say that this is a very proud week for the Trayton Group, a group that are transforming transportation and a group where Scania will be premium premium and lead by driving a shift towards more sustainable transport solutions. And we will do that together with our customers because we truly believe that sustainability and profitability goes hand in hand. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, we would actually break the tradition and actually give you a long coffee break now and enjoy the Scania family feeling here. Talk to our colleagues, have a look around at the products, have a coffee, and we will be available here for further questions as well. And with that, we say thank you and thank enjoy you. your day. Good. And uh, welcome. We are approaching IAA in Hanover, which is the uh, largest trade exhibition for trucks and buses in Europe. I am standing in uh, Madrid. It's a city at the forefront of tackling the challenges with mobility, such as congestion and air quality. Madrid is also going to be one of the first cities in Europe that is uh, diesel free. So all kinds of transport now have to adapt to the new sustainable agenda. And Scania is up to this challenge. 
In a moment you will see our latest addition to our already broadest range of sustainable transport solutions. Here is a quick peek of our latest news. Now I'm here with uh, Erwin Albert from Transgesa, Madrid-based uh, haulage company. Nice to see you here. Thank you very much for having me here, Eric. How is business? Business is uh, fine, though uh, becoming more and more challenging. Uh, the toughest challenge we have now is with the, with the urban distribution. It's coming more and more difficult, more and more restrictions. And of course, uh, we have to adapt uh, to all these new uh, regulations. The evolution is that more and more vehicles are uh, prohibited to enter into the, to the urban area, in the center area. We do overnight operations for the more heavy vehicles. Of course, unloading is uh, no longer permitted at all places in the center. In some occasion, we have to ask for special permits to do that. And of course, combined with all the other delivery services, it's uh, quite a challenging thing to, to plan this all ahead. We will talk uh, more with Erwin in a minute. Now it's time and I'm extremely proud to announce the latest addition to the Scania range. This is an answer that addresses the challenges of a city like Madrid. This is the new Scania plug-in hybrid an essential building block for a state-of-the-art transport solution. The onboard charging system is easy to use and takes only 20 minutes to fill up for a new cycle. The all-new L-Series cab has great safety and drivability features. This makes for an optimal urban hybrid delivery solution. The wide door and low entry makes it very comfortable with a great field of view. The capability of zero tailpipe emissions in electrical mode is a great step forward in sustainability and fuel economy. It also takes down the noise level to an impressive below 72 decibels. This opens up the possibility of making deliveries at night time. It meets the toughest demands and regulations on noise in sensitive areas and no energy is wasted thanks to brake energy recovery. The hybrids are compatible with Scania Zone, a sophisticated geofencing service that regulate emissions, noise and speed. The plug-in hybrid from Scania is a comprehensive answer to the needs of today's cities and urban areas, driving the shift towards sustainable transport. We have just seen the new plug-in hybrid vehicle from Scania, which is uh, one of several alternatives uh, for cities. And Erwin, why are alternatives so important to your business? Well, indeed, the alternatives are very important for our business because it gives us the uh, opportunity um, also to difference and to stay ahead of the, of the competitors. All these type of developments for us are very important to follow up and, and to implement this new type of ideas. If you look at uh, your business, what uh, do you think will be the uh, most important uh, for the future? For us in the future, okay, we have to continue. It's basically um, three pillars, no? We have to be uh, efficient. We have to uh, stay ahead of the competitors and we have to be uh, sustainable. And if you look at the sustainability, what kind of technologies do you then need, you think? Well, we have to, to grow with, uh, with new technology, with new developments of our, uh, of our providers in, in vehicles, also in, uh, in other types of technology. Um, that will be a, a key issue, that we make uh, the right elections. We have seen different hybrid solutions. Uh, why not go full electric uh, directly for your, in your industry? Yeah, that would be a nice idea, but uh, up to now, um, the infrastructures are not prepared uh, for going fully electric. So that is, uh, that is a problem uh, right now, but uh, uh, I'm convinced that uh, well, 
we'll be getting there, but in the meanwhile, we cannot run the business uh, on electric. And in the meanwhile, you can then think of a, a, a hybrid solution combined with a combustion yes. engine? Yes, hybrid is, uh, is quite good intermediate solution. Um, also, uh, the gas vehicles we're using from Scania. So I think this will quite be the, the path forward mm -hmm. while well, technology is, is developing to go fully electric. Thank you for uh, passing by here. Well, nice meeting you here in uh, Madrid. Thank you. Thank you very much, Eric. Madrid is uh, not the only city in the world taking strong measures to cut emissions. And of course, Garnia will be there in the future to supply the trucks and the buses that they need. Our history of uh, product development and innovation has always been tightly connected to the needs of our customers. We now believe that we are in a fundamental shift in our industry and uh, we know that Scania is well positioned. We at Scania are certainly well positioned for the future and that is what we will be showing at IAA. Most importantly, all of the vehicles in and around our stand in Hall 12 are alternatively fueled. We at Scania are serious about leading the shift to sustainable transport, and this is a clear manifestation of our aims. You will experience the full Scania new generation truck range. In long haulage, we will be showing the acclaimed and remarkably fuel-saving R-Series tractor and our V8 Jewel with a spacious S-Series cab that has rapidly become a favorite among drivers. Yet another tractor is the 410 horsepower G-Series, configured for LNG operations. The new versatile XT range is tailored for construction duties, and here you will see the 450 horsepower 8x4. In Scania's newly launched urban range, we are, of course, displaying the L-Series with its unmatched visibility for challenging city traffic, one for compressed gas and the other as a plug-in hybrid that you have just heard about. And I might mention that you'll also have the opportunity to experience the new generation crew cab fire truck as well as a forestry truck. In uh, buses and coaches, step inside the full range of city, suburban and long distance buses. We will be premiering the Scania Interlink for LNG operations the very first long-distance LNG coach. Once again, we are in the forefront of offering sustainable alternatives. So, we are clearly excited about this year's EAR and look forward to showing all of you our great, complete, sustainable offer. Besides meeting the demands in the area of alternative fuels, Scania is developing lots of new products and services in the field of connectivity. The main focus areas are safety, productivity and sustainability. Platooning and autonomous vehicles will be two important future solutions based on connectivity. But already here and now we are presenting Scania Zone, a smart application for uh, setting the speed and emission performance in a given area. The future of urban areas is facing serious challenges. Congestion, high emissions, noise levels and safety are some of the problems. Scania Zone is made to answer the needs of today's cities and urban areas. This is the shift towards new sustainable transport. The system delivers automatic adjustment of vehicle functions. The vehicle can easily comply with given rules and regulations depending on the geographical position. The driver can also be notified and prompted to adjust manually. The city can now be divided into different areas, each area with its own policies. Scania Zone works especially well with Scania's hybrids, bringing down sound levels and emissions to a minimum. The new hybrids can run with zero tailpipe emissions, Noise levels are well below 72 decibels. The range is 10 kilometers in electrical mode. Emissions can be cut with up to 
and the low noise level opens up for deliveries around the clock. Scania Fleet Management System fits right in, making planning and follow-up of zones easy. Scania Zone is the optimal tool to improve operations in sensitive and busy areas, a smarter and more sustainable solution. One thing is certain, the future ecosystem of transport and logistic will look different from what we have today. In cities like Madrid, Rome, Paris or in Hamburg, the future is already here. And the need of uh, transport of goods and people will be greater than ever. And the journey to sustainable transport, like uh, fossil free and safer transport, has already started, as you have seen today. And Scania aims to lead the way.